Hello and welcome to another devlog of my solo indie adventure game. In this video I want to show you what I did last week to improve my game, so lots, l lots? Let's don't waste any time and dive into it. Two small changes right before the actual topic starts. As I mentioned last video, I just created like 10% of the whole island and for a solo indie game the map is way too huge. Because of that I reduced the size of the island so it's a good amount smaller now. Here's the before and after. The second minor change is just the town, which is now a bit enriched with entities so it doesn't look too bad. Of course, it still feels lifeless, but as I mentioned in my last video, when there are some NPCs scurry around, the place feels much more alive, hopefully. Nevertheless, let's look at the main topic. Actually, I revisited the tree cutting system and I wanted to improve it. The current implementation works as follows. You come near a tree, press the action button on your preferred controller and then the tree is falling. That's it. I think that's way too lame. I think it's super important that you have to use the right tool to cut down a tree. So I needed to implement a system that the player can even hold items in a sense. Including a side menu with all the possible active items. Yeah, so I did it. <laughs> the player can now hold any item in his hands which is located in the first 8 slots of the inventory. So now I can track if the correct item is held at the player's hands to execute any action. Also, I wanted the player to really have the chance to choose the target object precisely. So I was thinking that it would be a cool mechanism that the player has the ability to aim. And yeah, so I implemented an aiming system and made it necessary that the player is aiming when you want to cut down a tree. This improvement could also be important when it comes to a cool fighting system with swords, axes or even bows. I think that aiming could be a key mechanism in this game in the future. The next changes are just impact design decisions so that a random cutting sound is being played when you hit a tree or something or that the camera is shaking when you cut down a tree. I think it's about time I add sound to all of my implemented features, isn't it? Yeah, and that's it. That's all I did last week. I hope you enjoyed this devlog. If so, then I would be very happy if you subscribe to this channel and leave a like there. Thanks for joining me in this episode. See you in the next one.